<laughs> it's like uh, Goldilocks <laughs> porridge. Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Whims with me, Stuart. Today we've got a, a 12 year old blend from Caden Heads. I got this on the secondary market for I think about £50, which is still quite cheap for a, a 12 year old. It is a blend, but uh, there's nothing wrong with that. It's 46% ABV. I think when this first came out, it was about £30, £40. So I don't think I overpaid. Uh, this was purchased from DB Watson Dumfries which says jam, jam Busters in the back, that's where that came from. Uh, so someone's bought that from the shop and then fired at the auction. Luckily, these bottles, uh, these types of whiskies and Caden Heads in particular, don't actually do too well in auctions. Uh, so if you're ever looking for an old um, kind of uh, distillery, an old whisky, uh, look for Caden Heads stuff on the auction. You can usually get it cheaper than how uh, when Caden Heads bring it out, unless it's terribly sought after, but yeah, these are normally quite cheap. Uh, so I was quite lucky to get this. Uh, the blend is made up of a marriage of 65% malt whiskies and 35% grain whiskies from across Scotland. Uh, the whiskey is bottled in small batches following a sherry cask solera system of maturation. Uh, so no chill filtering, no added colouring and we'll get right down to it see if it's a whiskey win or a whiskey bin. Yeah so the nose is lovely. You can tell obviously it's, it's sherry, but there's like a, a soda, um, like kind of soda water or, or uh, is, it, is it just soda water? Uh, you've got still water and then, is it just soda water, carbonated water? But like, almost like a soda black currant. So if you were to get, yeah, like a, a diluted black currant uh, juice or, or squash, whatever you want to call it, and, and fizz it up. It's like fizzy black currant, almost verging on Vimto, but not as kind of sweet, a little more tamed, um, more water involved there. Yeah, there's there's definitely, definitely walnuts. Quite nutty, um, dark fruit, obviously, with the, the black currant. It's quite subtle, 46% uh, ABV, it's not... It's not like a hard hitting, bold, powerful, there's not a, an abundance of flavour or scents. But what is there are, 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 are smelly enough. <laughs> um, they smell good. There's a, a kind of, I want to say something like rice pudding or something. Like a rice pudding with uh, a bit of compote in it or something. Like uh, maybe just blackcurrant compote again. Rice pudding and blackcurrant compote. Yeah, really enjoying this. Touch sulfuric, touch, just a touch there as I was spinning the uh, the, the, the whiskey, um, swirling it round. I just got a, a kind of hint of sulfur, maybe from the sherry. A little aromatic, um, but yeah, a great nose. Uh, I think that's all that I can get from it at the moment. We'll go down to the, the palate. Mm. Lovely mouthfeel, oily, uh, <laughs> a little, little bit of an alcoholic kick. I'm just going to take another another sip to get um, it's the first sip to climatise my my palate, and then we'll go for the second one. <clears throat> yeah, still oily. But like I said, there's more funk coming through. I don't, I don't, I know it's Caden Heads, but there's no. Uh, there's no indication of where it's from. I'm not sure if that information is available. Just having a wee look at the box. Uh, but it feels like there's a little bit of a funkiness, a little dirtiness, um, a little earthy, kind of ground coffee, if you if you will. Yeah, get ground coffee, um, earthy, dirty dunnage. There's this kind of orange fudge element as well here, quite a, a sweet. Uh, sweet dram with, with the, the dirty element, uh, this this coffee, this orange, yeah I'm trying to think what that could be, like a kind of, uh, like a, an orange coffee or an orange, not chocolate, but like, uh, it's weird, uh, maybe if you've just drunk a cup of coffee and then had an orange, that'd probably be quite horrible actually, uh, like yeah, like I don't know, maybe yeah, maybe like a, an orange flavoured coffee, uh, if you've had like coffee and like an orange syrup or something, really nice, uh, well, 
constructed, uh, definitely. It's, like I said, there was a little bit of a kick at the first, but now it's, it's, it's just refined, it's just very well put together. There's something like rapeseed oil there, uh, I would go with that, like that oily element, but yeah, rapeseed oil specifically, not like sunflower oil. Uh, yeah, quite quite interesting, quite well balanced, quite complex in the palate compared to the nose. I felt the nose was maybe a little lacking compared to the palate. The palate's definitely uh, bolstered this whiskey. It's definitely p pushed it up, uh, up and beyond what 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 I was expecting from the nose. The finish, the finishing medium. It's once again. I think uh, the nose was those walnuts. We're getting those walnuts back in the finish. Uh, quite a nutty finish. A lot of kind of oak um, influence here as well. There's, I want to say, it's 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 like you've drunk a coffee. And I have had a coffee this morning, so I don't know if it's that, but it's like you've drunk a coffee and you've got that, just that coffee breath. <laughs> um, yeah, coffee breath. So like a coffee finish. Um, like, a, but I'm, I'm an americano or an espresso, like a dark coffee, not milky at all, not a latte, not a cappuccino. Quite a dark, uh, earthy, dirty. It's it's quite a dirty dram. It's not like a uh, terribly funky or terribly dirty. That it's it's kind of off putting. It's just yeah, ground coffee, dirty. If that makes sense. Um, no peat, no smoke, nothing like that. I'm not getting anything like that. Uh, more kind of dried fruits in the the palate. Uh, that, 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 not nothing specific. Just kind of a, a hubbub, if you like, a, a kind of amalgamation. A, a, a what would you call it? A, a kind of group of dried fruits, but nothing specific. So yeah, we'll get down to the rating. Uh, would I buy it again? I think I would. This is an easy sipper. It's not taking a lot to think about. It's definitely, you could have it at Christmas time, it could be a summer one without the back of a cigar. It's very approachable and quaffable uh, and I'm actually surprised I've not had more of it. I just keep forgetting it's there because it's at the bottom of the shelf. Uh, it's a great blend, great example of a blend, well put together, well constructed. Uh, the casks, the, the whiskies, the, the, the malt and the grain uh, complementing each other quite um yeah, they're quite complimentary. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I, I would buy this again. I think uh, this batch, it'd be good to see what other batches are like, the other 12 year olds, because there's plenty of them. Uh, so yeah, I'd buy it again. Do I think it's worth it? Uh, yeah, uh, £50 max, even £60, uh, it's a good blend. It's a good whiskey and I would pay £60 for it. It's naturally presented. Uh, it would be good to have a little bit more information, but they might not be... Uh, legally allowed to, to say what casks are involved possibly but it, it gives you enough 65% malt 35% grain uh, I would like more but it's 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 more than most give you uh, 12 year old non-chill filtered no added colouring so yeah I think it's worth the price and like I said up to £50 and I definitely recommend it uh, it's one for sherry fans it's one for people who aren't so into sherry because it's not overly sherry it's just right <laughs> it's like uh, Goldilocks <laughs> porridge um, so yeah, that's all I've got to say. Whiskey Win for sure. Uh, thanks for watching. I've been Stuart. This has been Whiskey Wins. I'll see you later.